Hello Internet, it's I, the Roshi, and I'm back with another video. This time doing a Genshin Impact character design tier list. Now, if you remember, I did stream this on Twitch originally, twitch.tv slash the Roshi. You're getting the abridged version of that. But if you are interested in checking out the actual streams itself, there will be a link to my Twitch in the description below where you can check out the VODs. There will also be another link at some point to my VOD channel here on YouTube, where I will be uploading the full unedited VODs. One thing before we get into this that I want to heavily emphasize, because I know someone with half a brain cell is going to be really confused here. This tier list is based on my opinion about the character designs. We're not talking about personality. We're not talking about story, backstory, lore, nothing character design how the character is presented to us visually so if i see you yeah you you know who you are in the comment section going why'd you put so and so in the trash tier that's so rude that's disrespectful they're a good boy they're a good girl you're a dunce and you missed the point this is how the tier list works we have s tier these are the characters that really shine in the game then we have A tier, very respectable. More things that I like than I dislike. B tier, the mid tier. There's some things I like, some things I dislike. C tier, more things I dislike than I like. And then we have trash tier, and that name should speak for itself. And that's how it goes. I hope you enjoy my based opinions. Let's get into it. I stayed up very late to make a very basic slideshow that's going to assist us in this. We have the Traveler, we have Ether. I see some say dislike Ether's open belly. Other people are saying they love Ether's open belly. His hair needs more polygons. <laughs> it by no means is a terrible design. I don't think it's anything special though. He's going in B. I'm gonna put him in B for now. We might have to shift things around, of course, as we go through this. We have Lumine, we have the sibling. She has nice flowers and feathers and stuff, and it's a good touch. And I love her color scheme. The scarf is nice. It's just like, she's got her her armored cankles and the, the weird end part of her dress that kind of throws me off a little bit. So I believe for me, I'm gonna be throwing her very close to Aether. Lumine, also B tier. Low B, high C, just above Aether. I don't think they want their main characters to stand out and look better than every single other person that they run into. We have G. China censorship. China didn't like her armpits. That's fair. It's a lot of people like armpits, but not everyone. I think I prefer this. This is actually the superior Jean outfit. What do we think about her, her, her summer outfit? What the, what the, f we got, what is this? Why does she have a band around her leg with a rose and then there's another linked thing, chain thing, going up underneath her pants? What is that? Genshin has a thing for thigh bands. Even the men have that. I know, they do. But why is it going up underneath her pants like that? She's going into low A, the librarian witch mother. I like the colors. She has that Knights of Favonius thing. Uh, it does look like she's straight up wearing underwear, which I'm not complaining. It is very nice, detailed underwear. I don't like this skin of hers. It's supposed to have Sumeru vibes. I understand. That doesn't mean it's good. Maybe on a different character, I would love this. But for Lisa, I just, I, for some reason, I don't buy it. Oh, but but she went to school in Sumeru. So it does make sense. I, I'm not talking about that. I don't give a fuck. I'm talking about how it looks on her. Doesn't look good, in my opinion. Green and gold is very good. But I'm like thinking like, she's the green power ranger now. I'm playing Genshin Impact. I don't want to think about Power Rangers. The fuck? <laughs> Honestly, I'm going to put Lisa in low A for now. She, for me, she's low A, high B. Next up, Amber. This thing, you can't take this on and off. She grew up in that. Same thing with the hoodie. She grew up in that. Amber smells really bad, guys. I don't know the last time you've used her, but every time I use her, I take like 20 debuffs. And my stamina is like cut in half. She's supposed to give me more stamina when I'm gliding, but... When I'm doing anything else, I'm actually barely alive. That being said, I actually really do like Amber. <laughs> also, I'm gonna be a little bit of a de degenerate here for a second, just for a, just for a second. Her other outfit. They nerfed her butt. What's up with that? Why they do that? Why can I see her knee outline? She grew up in these clothes. They are so tight. <laughs> that is why. Amber. Amber's going in C. 
I believe Noelle has like jiggle physics when she shouldn't have just jiggle physics because armor don't move like that. I think it would have been better if her chest piece was different. Either keep it more on the lines of maid outfit so you can keep those jiggle physics or give her something different. Actually give her an armored chest piece. It almost, it breaks logic a little too much. Once again, I don't care that she's half maid, half knight, whatever that is in appearance. It's, it's the fact that armor is moving way too much in places it shouldn't be. I think Noelle is B tier. Barber time. Okay, so we got Barbara here, and, um, you know, she's looking okay. I like her colors, kind of. The blue really pops. But everything else is kind of like, I don't know, whatever. She's like an idol in a fantasy world. Like, what the fuck's up with that, man? What about her beach skin? You mean this one? This is god-awful. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like a Victorian swimsuit. You think they went swimming? In, in the Victorian days? I'm not buying it. They didn't even know what water was. They were too busy sipping on wine. Oh, man. So I don't know. I don't know. I, I like her base outfit more than this one. She's below ether. Zucros. Rat tail. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not, I don't really care too much about that because like Ganyu has that and I like Ganyu's hair. So how am I to judge? I don't think she's that bad. I think she's very cute. I think she has a very cute design. Just a simple cute girl with literal skeletons in the closet. So she's just like me for real, for real. I think on this list currently, she's high B. Maybe in the overall picture, mid B. That's kind of where I am. And if she does end up in high B, then so be it. <laughs> so be it. I didn't even mean to make that joke. It's not even a joke. Where am I? Officials design. Eye patch, great. Eye patch, gang. I don't mind the see-through arms and uh, and leg pieces. The the midsection is kind of weird. Yeah, it's uh, overall, I think her outfit is really good. And then I also like how she has like the blonde hair. She would not look as good if she had darker hair, in my opinion, because then it would be too dark. There are some things about this that I really do like. I know she's got like a tiara thing going on, but hear me out. She looks more like a jester than she does royalty here. I think they could have done something a little different to really like make her seem like some royal figure. It doesn't look bad, but they're, I know they're going for princess. This does not look like princess to me. Yeah, she's A. Mona, you can't rate Mona without a back view. Listen, I've seen I've seen plenty of Mona stuff. All right, I I actually really like her hat. Her hat's great. I am admittedly confused about the heck happened with her hair. She's got these metal tassels that her hair just kind of clips into. I guess I think she's a very good looking character. I wasn't sure if I was going to like this. But I think I prefer this one over the original. The colors here are a lot better than the original. I'm going to go A. And I'm putting her above Fischl. Plus, she still has a booty. I'm just saying. I'm, we all know it. A for ass. This is the part. This is the part where you all leave and unsubscribe and hate me. Tell me when you're ready and I'll, I'll tell you how I feel. Kaya's freaking mid, guys. This guy is trying so hard to be cool that it makes him mid again. He's got too much. He's got some serious collar problems. This is a collar to whatever coat he's wearing, but there's like weird layers to it. And then he throws on a cape and then he has a fur and then he has like this under layer and then another under layer. But it's like his whole chest area is a goddamn mess. Simple isn't bad. You can make simple work. I think his braid's fine. I don't care. I mean, I think people who complain about a rat tail shouldn't be thinking that this is great. For me, I don't mind the rat tail. I said it was fine on Sucrose. A lot of you in the chat were like, nah, -uh, it looks gross, Sucrose, ah. And then everyone in the chat, Kaya comes up, same shit. And everyone's like, oh, he's based, he's great, he's amazing. Nah, -uh, I don't have a problem with it. You guys did. Look look how biased you are, calling one a rat tail, another one a love lock. I, I think his chest area is clean compared to before. This is good. This is an improvement. I do like this 10 times more than Kaya's base design because of his other outfit and that potentially it's an option. 
he goes into high B. It's the Luke from Wuthering Waves. Oh, I mean Genshin Impact. Oh shit. Oh god, I'm sorry. Design wise, in game, they botched his face, guys. Guy's a freaking owl. And maybe that's on purpose. Because he's got an owl in his freaking manner. I don't mind the monochrome look and then like the shock of red hair. He looks suave. He looks good. I like the fur on his coat as well. It's nice. And then we have Red Dead of Night. Very good. I have no problem with his other one. Honestly, I think his original design is low A tier. This one though... Dude, Luke's gonna be our first person in S tier. Low S. He's a low S, high A. He could switch to A. Razor. He is kind of a mess, and it makes sense that he's a mess. His weird belt hood is questionable. It's a little strange how he has a hood on and hair sticking out from under it. I, but I guess that's just because his entire hoodie is made of belts, essentially. Honestly, I don't, I don't really have much to say. He feels kind of filler. Like, I could see him totally being just like an NPC in the game. He's C tier. I don't think he's trash, but he could be a lot better. I know exactly where Bennett's going. Bennett's our first trash tier designed character. I don't even want to pull him. I know he's great to have in your team because he, he does the crazy buffs. Don't give a fuck. But yeah, look, shorts don't make any freaking sense. You have the red underlayer. There's some weird stitching here. It's like serving no purpose. W weird belt, weird belt, another belt hold t for this book. Stupid bandage, stupid bandage, weird scarf thing that's not actually a scarf. Goggles for no reason. Like, he's just, ah. If Bennett was a color, he would be the same color as his shirt. Beige. It's boring. I, I mean, I look forward to all these characters' story quests. If I get a Bennett story quest, I'm more than happy to learn more about him and go on some adventure and see him in action and all sorts of stuff. And maybe I'll like him as a character. Design-wise, he garbage, though. Now it's Ningguang time. I have a hot take about Ningguang. She doesn't look that good. She's not an S tier. She's far from an S tier. At least this. This design is better. And this is why. Light colors, white, yellows, golds. Nothing really pops out. She's just kind of there. She's a good looking NPC, but she's a fucking NPC in, th in this outfit. <laughs> your opinions are invalid and your existence is futile. What are you, my dad? Get out of here. Here though, because you have darker shades of colors against her complexion this works more she goes right there beto she really feels like chinese badass pirate captain i like her hair as well eye patch gang she's a lot of red and black which is a good combo i also like how she has like design stuff going up one of her boots I think I want to put her there. Kitching. I feel like there's a lot going on, but it's not too distracting. I think her design, her basic design overall is kind of mid. This is a huge improvement. And it does remind me of Ganyu's alternate outfit. And you guys know how I feel about that. I think we're all on the same page for this one. I, th I think that's it. Xian Ling, good for them for not giving her bullshit sleeves that aren't connected. But does that save her? The bells a lot. She's making a lot of noise when she's moving around. She even has one on her hip as well. I'm not a huge fan of like the weird braid thing that she's got going on too. I don't really like that style. Give me a reason not to put her in trash. Guoba will be sad. Oh man, if only I cared about Guoba's feelings at all, shit. She makes it into trash but she is above Bennett. Chong Yoon. I feel like they gave him bandages on this arm only because they decided to put a lot of shit on this wrist. I kind of like this top part. Sorry, dude, you have an NPC face. You fucking basic. Uh, <laughs> Cause they're the same color. They're the same color. And then he has, he's got a lot of blue on his person. Chong Yoon C tier. Actually, no. Actually, because of the One Piece, low C tier. Think that's a hot take? Go get yourself a popsicle and cool off. Singcho! Songchu looks great. Don't judge him for his haircut. It's part of his character design. I am judging him, and like, very much so for his haircut. His haircut alone is trash-worthy. It's not the full thing, but I know what it looks like. 
Literally, the bottom half is white shorts. They fixed his hair. It's still not great. I'm not a fan of the boy shorts. I'm, I'm glad that Chong Yoon doesn't have boy shorts. If they gave Chong Yoon boy shorts, he would have been in trash. Give me a reason not to put this guy in trash. Let him and every other boy character wear shorts. Sure, it's boring. It's boring character design. You have a hard time picturing him in pants. Great, doesn't mean he can't have them though. He's a fancy boy. He deserves full length pants. Why is he getting gypped on only half pants? He's trash. Sorry. They had the opportunity to fix him. They gave him a botched version of Farina's top and they stuck him with the boy shorts. Again. And his hair? Sure, they fixed it. Still looks like garbage. The best things on him are his colors. And that's not enough to save him. It's Chi Chi time. I like the tag. I know why it's there. I'm sure I'll be told anyway. <laughs> but I like that. Um, actually, Jung Shi something something. Yeah, exactly. Apart from her shoes. Yeah, exactly. She's not that bad. Oh, man. Okay. I know where she goes. Low A. She goes in low A. Really like the pastel colors that are used for her. And her design does nothing wrong. Everything makes sense for what she is. And it is really just her shoes that kind of take you away from it. But that's like a little nitpick compared to everything else that she has. Venti. Hair is great. Eyes are great. His entire outfit is just very bard. And he is a bard. I like Bennett designs better than venti probably partly because he annoys me way more as a character well we can all have very poor opinions it's okay if you feel that way is it anything outstanding anything that really really sticks out not really not enough to make him s but he doesn't feel like a basic mid character and I have more things that I like about him than things I dislike about him. He gets a solid A. We got Klee right now. I think her outfit is very cute here. I don't have much to complain about other than like her, her hair being kind of weird, but it's still not terrible. This skin is S tier. Klee go, Klee's design goes up in S. All right, child, anime Ed Sheeran. He does have some layers going on, but this is an example of layers that aren't too distracting. People probably like this. I don't care for it. It's it's a, it's not a deal breaker, but I'm like, why? It's just obvious what they're trying to do here. They're trying to show a sneak peek at the abs. Which, you know, I don't see any anyway, but whatever. Uh, he's A tier. Diona. They are pushing the cat thing way too hard with her. I knew she was a cat the moment you gave her ears and a tail stop it and the, what the fuck is this who puts up their hair like that normally when you're getting ready in the morning or something i understand but you're just gonna walk around like this like it's not a problem also she's a very little girl and she's showing her belly and i hate that i freaking hate that with a passion <sighs> diana diana's going into trash okay we all exactly know where Zhongli is going. Fuck this guy. No, I'm like, <laughs> he's going into S. <laughs> it's Xin Yan. Okay. Oh man, how do we sell that she's a rocker chick? Oh, do spikes. Okay, we'll put some spikes. No, more spikes. Okay, Wh I said more spikes. And then they're like, oh, and then they just threw all the spikes on her. Well, I kind of agree with this. I think she's more interesting to look at than Barbara but then you're like oh god what what is happening and then you back off we have Albedo I actually really like his design I'm thinking about his hair currently I honestly don't mind it I don't even mind it in game I don't think it's that bad this is a case where the more I look at it, the more I'm like okay I see what you're doing I don't mind it at all he goes there I think Albedo genuinely has a good design. I think he looks really good. And he didn't need an alternate skin to make me feel that way about him. That's why he's above Mona and Kitching. It's my beloved. But I'm not going to let my bias get a hold of me. 
Oh, sorry. Uh, I, I mean, I didn't... Uh, next, next thing. Okay, sorry. Sorry, I don't... <laughs> where did these come from? This is crazy. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, it's her other dress. Woo! It's her other dress. I've talked about this outfit in length in a video. Uh, I don't know what I can say that hasn't already been said. You should go watch that video. But my bias is going to put Ganyu in front of Klee. I think her alternate outfit is the best alternate outfit in the game. All right. Xiao. Xiao does have a fantastic design. I like that he has a tattoo. That's different. He has this subtle design of like silver on his white top. And I like this color thing here. It kind of, It's weird how it sort of like blends into everything, but also breaks it as well. I think Xiao's going in S. Actually, mmm. I like him more than Diluc and Klee. I really do. Hu Tao time. The coat. Very nice. Actual legit sleeves. Point. I am a little confused by the metallic square chunk at the end of these things, but you know that we've seen a lot worse, I think, when it comes to that stuff. Her eyes are cool. They're very they're very unique. I think she's going right here next to Child, but ahead of him. Okay, Rosaria. I didn't realize Rosaria had gray skin until I looked up these images of her. The headpiece is better. The sleeves are better. Headpiece is better. Legs, terrible. It's like they just disconnected it right here. So this became a legging. Yeah, it's like, okay, it's a cutout, not a strap. Well, let's put it this way. You see how we're confused talking about it right now? Bad design. I think she goes here. I think she's more interesting than Barbara. But then it just kind of like, eh, after that. Yanfei. I'm sure the character's fine, but I I don't I don't like her design. It seems kind of mismatched. This feels weird to have here, and then you have a metal thing, and then it folds over and it goes up, and then you have this, but then you have this coming over, and there's like these these other pieces with rope connecting them, I guess. Like it looks like there's just like a lot of stuff in the way for not a lot of reason. I'm swapping them. Xiangling, for now, is able to crawl her way out of the trash. And Yanfei took her place by falling hard into it. Yula. She does have cake. And who doesn't like cake? Pie lovers, that's who. That's not true, I love pie and cake. How do the straps on the inner thighs work and stay up there? Unlike all characters before, there is actually indentation for when things are gripping when they should be. Believe it or not, her outfit actually makes the most sense out of almost everybody that we've covered so far, as far as female characters go. She's the best designed character. In my opinion, Yula is the best designed character that we've seen thus far. Yes, she beats Zhongli as well. Why? Because I don't get to see Zhongli's cake. That's why. It's not as easy to see. It's Mr. Canada himself, Kazuha. Like his colors, they gave him shorts. They're long shorts, they're longer, they're to his knees, so it's not terrible. He has a very pleasing design. There's some things I would want a, to be a little better, but I overall, I do like it. Just gonna go right here. I think he's a pretty high A. Ayaka's design. Ayaka's armor jiggles. That's my major problem. Yeah, that's my problem too. And she does have a very tall forehead, though most characters do. She just doesn't hide it as well as other characters. But I do like her outfit in general. She does have very nice eyes. I do like her eyes. I'm feeling B. The dress is very nice. And I like the boots. Okay, this skin is a lot better. Her hair is pretty much the same. I wish they kind of changed up her bangs a bit. She moves up one spot to me. Character design wise, what do we think about Yoimiya? Nice tattoos, yeah. I like the tattoos as well. The big rope thing throws me off a little bit. It is pretty, but it is confusing. Like, I, I feel like this would have worked well on a character who is a little more stationary than Yoimiya. The pattern on her on her dress is very nice. That looks like it would just get in the way of every single little thing you try to do. I think she goes right there. Yeah, Sayu! Uh, man, this is the Lily Pichu character. I honestly don't mind the hood. I'm, I mean, the leaf is weird. It's like I go to look at this character and I immediately look at the leaf because it's just so different from everything else that's here. She looks like an important NPC you would talk to. Sayu goes in C tier. Raiden, Shogun. 
I think the only thing I really like about Raiden is her hair. So B. Ooh, strong opinion there. B for Bubasword. I like the purples. I like the deep reds. It's very nice. It's a little too much of just different purple tones, in my opinion. It's so strange because Raiden is like a combination of conservative and super sexy looking. Raiden's low S. You know what? Yeah, because of Diluc's face, she she moves up. She moves up one. She doesn't beat Klee, though. We got underboob. Kujo Sara. There's the Tengu theme, right? You have the fan. You have the feathers here. You have the bird mask, which is cool. And there's an actual strap for it, which is great. It actually works more than Child's. Child's just has one on the side of his head that was glued there. I think if you, like, kind of turned up the saturation in some areas, it would work better. I think she's going in high B. Kokomi time. Kokomi is an amazing looking character. Very fish-like. Colors are great. Kokomi beats Raiden, Raiden in S tier. Hello there, you made it to the halfway point. How's your blood pressure? Are you okay? Are you enjoying my base takes? Or are you just butthurt and hate watching me? Either way, I respect you for making it to this point in the video. Honestly, I, it means a lot. Also, there are other ways to support me. By checking out the description, you can find a link to my Twitch where you can follow me there for when I go live and do stuff like this in the future. Or you can become a member of the channel, get access to my Discord, and get exclusive videos of uncut playthrough stuff of Genshin Impact and Honkai Star Rail. But you know what? I know that sometimes YouTube doesn't really work out for everyone, so if you really don't want to do that, you can go over to my Patreon and get the same benefits. If you're interested, check it out. It means a lot. Every little bit counts. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoy the rest of my character design tier list. What's your favorite bird? I like penguins. All right. We have Aloy, everyone. Aloy. Toma. Little NPC vibes. But he does look good. He does have a very nice design. His face is super simple, though. If you take away the headband, it is just kind of like a guy. I think Toma's mid. Arataki Ito. Mr. Noodle Arms himself. A character with actual abs. Good. Guy skipped arm day. You'll see more of that tattoo. Okay, okay. Let's not be too thirsty now. Come on. Remember, he wouldn't even be able to pick you up. Low A. I think he's low A. I do like his colors, though. I do like his outfit overall. I don't think they overkill it with the spikes like they did with Shinyan. He's a good looking character. Goro. I like his pants. Sure, he could have armor here to protect his balls, keep his midsection completely exposed. I know this isn't a thing I pointed out with other bow characters, but this looks like a thing that you would actually wear on the inside of your arm, and he did not equip that properly. Uh, so he's wearing an arm guard the wrong way for using a bow. I think he's low C. I think he's the lowest C, barely peeking out of trash. Shen ha. Why do I have her splash heart with the belly button? You'll get striked. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that people have belly buttons. In other videos, I've talked about the significance of her outfit and that it's not only a great design, but it also actually tells her story. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, then there's some videos of mine that you got to watch. This is already S. This is an S. Shenha is the best design character, period. Yujin is a very pretty character. Yunjin hits me the same as Toma. Nice looking, simple, works with nothing I dislike, but kind of NPC-ish. I think she stands out a little more than an NPC, but I definitely see what you mean. She does have one of the most practical outfits in the game. I agree with that. It's like she has the same colors as uh, Chi-Chi, which I really liked. I think... I think she goes top B tier. Yai Miko. I have a little bit of a bias. I like the pink hair. She is of the very legs category. It's like there is an attitude about her shown through her visual representation here. I think she's above Raiden, but under Kokomi. Elegant, regal boy. Aito is like Yaimiko, simple and elegant. True. <laughs> the James, the Yaimiko's Jesse. That's a great way to put it. I do like how he has these arm guards on both of his arms under his sleeves. I don't think it's the best outfit, but it is a solid design. You know, he's going next to Yaimiko because they both fulfill a similar purpose. I like Yaimiko more. I have a similar mindset about both of their things. 
that they got going on. Yelan, she does have a mole on her chest. God, I didn't notice that. Oh, shit. Love the two-toned hair. Coat is cool. I don't know how it stays on her shoulders. Like, she's got style. She does. They're definitely different than this. They're not, they're very nice eyes though. So I put her in low S. Kuki Shinobu. Yeah, she's got some drip. She looks like she has some like body tattoo stuff over here. That's nice. And that's the thing too. Like, I don't think I'm a huge fan of like green hair, but like it works with her. This like eye shadow going on around her purple eyes, which make them pop. And then the green, like uh, the mask is cool. No, you know what? She's going in S. I don't care. I think everything works. Hazo. I feel weird about his shirt thing. I don't know if I like that. He's got those NPC vibes. I'm going to put him here. Do we get the Skull Tainari? We absolutely get the Skull Tainari. I'm not a fan. As you guys know, if you watch any of my stuff, I am not a fan of Tainari's getup. His colors are all over the place. His hair is stupid. Ears are just like, look like they're glued onto his head and have no life in them. He's a fox, so he's just colorblind and he doesn't know. Oh, you put his design through a red-green colorblind simulator post- Ooh! Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. This looks good. <laughs> his colors look good here. I think Tainari's colorblind. Well, now I'm just an asshole. He's by far the worst. All right, let's talk about Kale. I do like the earthy tones that she has. She actually does look more like a ranger. Oh, I didn't- Her shoe- Her shoes do throw me off a bit. She should not have toes showing. Someone in Hoyoverse really does like toes a lot. They got a toe thing. And it's very obvious. Yeah. She goes in A. We found her. We found Dory, guys. But it's not the fish we were looking for. I know we're supposed to be like Arabian Nights feeling here. She's also a child. And I don't like that she barely has a shirt. Some people say she's much older than just very short. They still gave her a childlike body. You can have a character that looks like a child, and they could be 500 years old. But if you're attracted to how that character looks, it still looks like a fucking child. The glasses, it's interesting. They're different. I'm not a fan of them. She goes in trash tier, under Bennett, just above Diona. Sino, he's all up in that desert. He's got the Anubis thing going on. He's got so much exposed skin, but that's because it's hot in the desert. Yeah, I think he deserves that. Candace. Trash tier, am I right? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> she also has the heterochromia, which is a thing that we have not really seen as of yet. I like this. She's got this starry night thing going on. I am a big sucker for that. That looked good. I'm going to put her in low S for now. We have Nilu here. Her color scheme. I think the red works really well against the blues. I like that it's a gradient of blue. I like her crown. I think that looks very nice. And nothing is too crazy. Like my eye is able to travel up and down this character and see all of them without being feeling too distracted. I think she has a beautiful design. Yep. I think she has the best design. Nahida, Cabbage Patch Kid. I'm wondering if it's almost too much green. No, I don't think it's too much green. I like this hair piece that she has. Now he was going above Klee. Layla, metallic nail things on her gloves. Shackles? Like the hood is only partially on her head. Like her hair is exposed here. It's not covering her entire head. And then she puts something over it. And that kind of throws me off a little bit. She's strangely beautiful, but there's a lot of mishmash going on at the same time. The back of the dress does seem a little weird. Overall, I think she looks nice. Like, I, th I think she, she's actually very... There's something pleasing about it. But when you look too much, it gets very chaotic really quick. And you keep going like, why? Why? Why is this here? Why, why is that a thing? I'm feeling high B right now. It's Hat Guy. I know that he is all sorts of Bohemian Rhapsody. I'm not going to put him in instant trash just because he has boy shorts. <laughs> And the hat. We don't need to talk about the practicality of the hat, right? I mean, this this would this if we were. Oh boy. <laughs> but yeah, I feel you feel like I'm searching for the most polite way to put him in the trash category. No, no, it's not. 
I really do like his design, but I don't know. There's something about it. There's a few things that I really like, but at, at the end of everything, I'm I'm still, for whatever reason, I'm like I'm not that impressed. I think he's mid A. Oh. Farozan! There we go. I do think having spaces open in her dress are a little weird. I like her her like bicep pieces that she has here and how the fabric kind of like connects to them. Yeah, lots of geometric designs, yep. Yeah. If we were judging like theme songs, her freaking theme songs are banger. I'm gonna put her I'm gonna put her here. I'll hate them. This insanely handsome man. His eyes are awesome. He actually has abs. I know Arataki Ito also has abs. But um this guy also has freaking arms. <laughs> I may be ace, but wow. <laughs> I love that. Okay, yeah, he's got a cord thing. Oh. Yeah, I'm not here to kink shame. <laughs> the muscle outline, yeah. Musalelis. All right, he's got the Musalelis. We appreciate the Musalelis. Al Hytham is the best male character design. Yao Yao? I I don't like the bells. I don't like her braided hair ribbon. And then everything is simple and it's nice, but now it's like this plus the simplicity of everything else. I'm, I'm feeling mid. Highest of S tier? That sounds like copium. Her face is the cutest thing. Her head, though, is atrocious. This part above, everything above her eyes is like, nope. You know, I'm going to say it. I like Goro more. There's just nothing. Like, it's just, she's just like bland and then things that I dislike. Damn. I know where I want to put her. Fake cat ears are annoying. They're part of her hair. They're not fake cat ears. Um, They're hair vents. It's different. And I guess they kind of made them look the way they did because she's like the lioness or whatever. She stands out and it looks good. I like that she has this armored arm. I like the black and red combo. I think Dia just... As of right now, just wins S tier. Mika! The boots and the gloves here are probably the best parts about this design. Um, his coat's okay. It gets a little... It gets a little much, but not, not terrible. Yeah, the flap thing is bothering me. The tie is... This could be something different or work better. A rat tail that actually bothers me because it's just like a bulb of hair at the bottom. Like, I don't know. But his, his hair pisses me off and I don't know what it is. I think he's C tier. Baiju. Dude wears a snake friend. That's kind of cool. I'm a little confused by this. It's like the snake shed its skin on his arm and he hasn't removed it. His eyes are very cool. I don't mind that he has like this ankle bracelet thing and that they left this plane. I feel like a lot of the times on characters they'll be like well if there's something on this side there's got to be something on this side so they'll be like well uh he's got a bracelet so let's give him wraps you know what i mean like i'm glad that they didn't really do that here with his legs anyway he goes here for me kave kave has a great design damn those eyes boy's got lashes he's wearing these weird exposed ankle shoe boots um which I'm not a huge fan of. It doesn't even make sense what I'm about to say. I was like, organized chaos. Like, with all the different colors and designs, it's very neat in appearance. Like, there's a plan. Yeah, it was intended. I think he makes it to S. Carrara. Yeah, I thought she was just wearing a skirt. I didn't realize it was split like that till just now. It's weird because, okay, first you have a character like Diona, right? Which was like, this is a cat girl! This is a cat girl! Look at her! Not only does she have cat parts, but she's like, a cat girl! Because she has this bag! Or she she has these shoes! And there's cat faces! And then there's paw prints! And it's like, it's a cat girl! This one is like... Doesn't force it down your throat. In my opinion. And I respect that. It's like they learned a lesson. <laughs> Middle of the road A tier. Uh, for for Carrara, Abracadabra, Linny, we're finally here. I feel like you're going to complain about the shorts. I am. My issue with them is that I don't like that it's a bodysuit. Top hat, baller. Teardrop tattoo, hell yeah. Yeah, his boots and gloves look awesome. I like Lynette a lot more than Linny. They have very similar appearances, but I like hers more. 
So whenever I put Linny, Lynette's higher. That's where I'm putting Linny. She has cat ears and a tail. She looks like a magician's assistant. Yeah, she does. Skirt shorts or whatever they're called don't bother me as much as they seem to be bothering you guys. Knee boots would have been nice. I think if she had knee boots, it would have been better. You know what? Yeah. She goes right there. They're very close. They are honestly very close. I just prefer hers. Fremine. His boots are weird. I think his coat is probably the best part. Hair, I'm not a huge fan of. The hat's fine. He goes above Barbara. Nouvellette. <laughs> it's like an 80s fever dream. <laughs> he has like a David Bowie thing going on. Eyeliner game is strong. Nothing wrong with that. He's either where he is or he's behind Zhongli. It's one or the other. Risley. It's obviously hair. And yeah, it kind of looks like ears, but that's because he's freaking Cerebus, man. It's the three-headed dog of Hades. Bam, bam, bam. Three heads. He's got it. He's got to have it. This coat is glued on. So is Yelan's. So is many other characters. They got all sorts of stuff glued onto their shoulders. He's going there. Farina. I like them both for, for reasons. I like that Farina has the long hair and the white. But I overall, I do like the black theme a little more, I think. The only part I don't like is the ruffles on the socks. And I can understand why it's there. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the ruffles either. Yeah, it'd be nice if the gloves were a little longer. Putting her here. Charlotte! The pink hair. I like, I don't, I like pink hair on characters. It's like freaking Yaimiko did it to me with the pink hair. Now Charlotte here with the pink hair and the red and white. I'm sent. There's a theme. I kind of wish that this was a coat and that this was connected to the sleeves. I feel like Charlotte suffers in a similar way as Layla does. But I like her more than Layla. It's Navia time. She does have a shit ton of ribbons. Yeah, they're very good with color combinations. Her color combination is outstanding. I mean, I'm just going to be honest. I'm just deciding where an S she's going to go. I don't mind the coattails. I actually like the coattails. She goes there. Listen, and I had to fight myself to put her above Ganyu, all right? My bias was telling me, like, don't you do it. Don't you do it, man. But I was, but I, I was real, and I did it. All right? So I don't want to hear any shit. Chevreuse! She's okay. Let's be honest, this is just human form of pom-pom from Honkai Star Rail, guys. She does have gun. I feel like she could have been thought out better. She feels rushed. I'm kind of feeling here. All right, guys, it's time for the next character. Burb. Burb time. What do we think about Burb? Triple S Burb. Understood. Now, how about her human form? Burb mom. Talon hands are cool. They are very interesting. I like the red here and there. The red framed glasses. That does a thing. I like how she has this like feather thing here and that she also has like a pin for her hair up here. Same pattern. Farina, Shanyun, Xiao. Who's excited for Gaming? He's better when he has his hood on. Otherwise, he's kind of like makeshift Kingdom Hearts character. His hair is also kind of weird. He's got a lot of stuff going on. It doesn't stick out too much, but when I look at it, I'm like, he's got a hair band. He's got hair vents. He's got a ponytail. He's got a mullet. He, uh, it's like, make up your mind. Pick a freaking hairstyle, dude. If I'm including animations, he's higher on the list. But basic design that we're presented with, I don't see him higher than B. I think he's there. Chiori. I don't care what anyone says. Her design is gorgeous. It is it is very like high fashion like Japanese. Um, which makes sense because she's from Inazuma. Surprisingly very symmetrical from like the thigh down. Which I feel like we don't see a lot of. I do like her more than Xion Yun. Alright, I'm gonna put her here though. I'm gonna put her here because... I think I like Farina more. It's time for the cap of Frappuccino Arlecchino. I love the eye. Her eyes are crazy. She's got this weird spine thing going on with her vision. 
that's kind of cool and scares me a little bit. Yeah, originally I thought she had short hair. But once again, I haven't seen her in a lot of things. Okay, I like the pants. I like that they matched the sleeves. These were built with the purpose of murdering. I kind of feel this. So I'm going through this, and what I decided to change so far, I think, is that these stay the same. And then when we get to the man, I'm swapping Zhongli and Nouvellet because I like the minimalistic style of Zhongli more so than the more complicatedness that is Nouvellet. I know that they have their reasons, but I prefer this over this. Then we have Navia. Navia is a very pretty character. But I look at her, and then I start seeing more problems. Meanwhile, I look at Ganyu, and I don't see problems. And this goes for both of her outfits. Am I biased? Yes. Very much so. Bite me. Shiori's a beautiful character. She stays. Ayato, I think he's going to move down the list. I think he's still an S, but I think he's going to move down the list. Let's move him down a little bit. Raiden Shogun. I like Elon more than Raiden Shogun. Ayato. Um, I like Shinobu more than Ayato. I like Sino more than Diluc. I like Candice more than Diluc. I like Kave more than Diluc. Diluc goes into A tier. And it's because of his in-game model being derpy as fuck. I like Mona more than Kuching. I'll be honest, I like Yoimiya more than Baiju. I like Child more than Karara. I think Jean and Lisa go back into B. I'll be honest, I like Layla more than Charlotte's design. I like her dress, her alternate dress, more than I like his alternate costume. So she's ahead of him. I think Rosaria moves up a lot. Ah, uh, but I'm mm, her alternate's kind of for me. I like her alternate more. I like her normal and her alternate more than Rosaria's. I'll be real, the Travelers are more interesting than Noel. <sighs> Oh, God, that hurts to say she's less interesting than Amber, in my opinion, thinking back on it. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Amber is going to stay where she is. She's like the, the queen of the C tier. As far as I'm concerned, I don't think anyone's going to pass her. Um, Razor is more interesting than Barbara. Wow, Barbara's having the biggest upset. Chong Yoon moves down a tier. Heizo has better shit going on, in my opinion. Chung Yoon ruins it with his bodysuit. You know, he's going down quite a bit. I'm going to do something that you guys aren't expecting. Tainari is moving up. Because we know that Tainari is colorblind. And he might make choices. But he, in his opinion, looks baller AF. And he truly does, if you ever actually see it. So that moves him up to the top of trash, in my opinion. It's not his fault. It's not his fault, guys. Tainari moves to the top of trash. He is the king of trash. I have shat on him the most, but his in-game model is actually not that bad. It looks a little more put together. And there's no other characters to talk about. There's no other characters to talk about. So with that, top of the S tier, in my opinion, Dea. At the very bottom, Diona. And that's... And that's what we have. This is our list, guys. And that's it. That was the Genshin Impact character design tier list. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. And if I upset you, I'm sorry that I'm not sorry that I did. Regardless, I hope you had fun. I had a lot of fun doing this. I want to do more Genshin Impact tier lists. So let me know what kind of tier list you'd be interested in me doing in the future. I'll stream it, I'll make a video out of it, it'll be a fun time. And if you want to join me for stuff like that, then I highly recommend subscribing to the channel and hitting that notification bell to keep track of when more videos come out and future updates about what I'm working on. 
So with that said, I hope you all have a good day. Thank you so much for supporting me. It means a lot. And until next time, shine on, you crazy diamonds. Later.